Hey church, my name is Annie Harley and I have the privilege of serving as a Calvary Women ministry leader here at Calvary Chapel, Fort Lauderdale. Thank you so much for joining us for our midday prayer from wherever you are around the world. It's moments like these that you really see that church isn't just a place that we go, but it's who we are. And that's why we value moments like these that we can come together and pray. You know, today I was reading in Philippians 4 and I was so encouraged by this passage of scripture that I'm gonna go ahead and read to us because I believe it's so timely for where we're at in the world today. In Philippians 4 verses four through seven, it says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing but in everything, prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I was not only encouraged by this passage of scripture, but I was challenged that Paul was writing this while he was in prison. That's a pretty hopeless situation, yet he's telling us to rejoice always to let our gentleness be known to all men. But most importantly, I'm encouraged that I can go to God in the middle of my anxiety, in moments when I don't understand what's happening. And for many of us, we don't understand what's happening with this global pandemic around us, but we have a promise of peace that goes beyond our understanding. And that is so encouraging. So I wanna challenge us to make our requests known to God and hold on to that promise of peace. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Would you pray with me? Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much that we can come to you in moments like these and that we don't have to trust on our own understanding, God. Lord, I pray that as we come to you, that you would give us peace that goes beyond our understanding, God, that you would allow us to experience the peace that you freely give. God, that we come to you in the middle of our anxiety, in the middle of our fear, Lord, I pray for the people that are with us today, that if they're experiencing fear in their life, Lord, that we would come to you, and most importantly, that we would rejoice in the middle of the situation. It's only by your power and only by your strength that we can experience peace and that we can rejoice. So Lord, I pray that over our church, that we would be beacons of joy, of hope, of life, in our community, God. We thank you for what you're doing. We trust in your goodness and your faithfulness. In your name we pray, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us for our midday prayer. It's such an honor to get to pray with you today. We hope you'll join us tomorrow and we'll see you next time.